All right, today I want to make a video on how to use Fat Explorer if you have an original Xbox and you are planning on formatting it or modifying it in a way. Your best bet is to open Fat Explorer. You want to make sure you're running the beta 3.0. Do not run the 2.5. It will not work. You open the program. You click on Formatting Tools. We are going to do an original Xbox hard drive. I'm going to try and make this video as short and sweet as possible. There's another video that explains this, but it's like 30 minutes long. So I'm going to make this much shorter and easy to follow. So I have a one terabyte hard drive. Uh, this is my Toshiba hard drive. This is my computer hard drive. See, it's a, and this is my Toshiba drive. Make sure you select your correct hard drive. I cannot say that enough. Don't format the drive you're working. So make sure you know the right drive. This is a one terabyte drive. See, it has 930 left. I'm going to go ahead and select this. This is the partitioning table you want. You want to have a partitioning table, which creates like all the drives for you. Partitioning means like your F drive, your E drive, etc. This kind of explains what you want. So this is what you're going to do unless you're running a mod chip. So I'm going to be soft modding, doing Rocky 5 and loading the EEPROM. So you will just want to select the increasing BIOS partitioning table. And this pretty much does it for you. If you're doing a mod chip, obviously select the mod chip, but this is the one you want to select. Click next. And this is where it gets interesting. So the first thing it's going to do, the, the E drive, it's going to give it four gigs of data. Don't really worry about the C drive. This is like your, your default OS. It has enough, at 500 megabytes, it's more than enough space to run most uh, stuff, so you don't need to give it more space. Your F drive is where you're going to be storing all your games, all like your ISOs and like etc. So I'd recommend, I like to give my E drive usually a little more space. You can modify this later, but you have 5 gigs here, and then this will pretty much give all your extra space. So you want to put all like your Xbox ISOs and stuff here. You don't have to worry about any of these other partitions. These are just like for saves and writing stuff, so just leave them default. I wouldn't even mess with this, just hit next. Again, I, I wouldn't recommend preloading anything. I recommend doing everything after. So don't preload anything. Just do next. And it's going to give you a review. <coughs> Excuse me. You want to go ahead and just uh, make sure, again, it's your right hard drive. You are getting the partitioning tables in a format. It's it's that easy. It's really not hard to do. You're pretty much done. So your hard drive's uh, ready to go. But now I want to go to my devices. And since the hard drive has been formatted, it should show up here in devices. So this is why you want to continue to use this program. I don't know if I'm out of, uh, so see how it shows up here as an Xbox hard drive? So now it's formatted to work with an Xbox system. So now what I want to do is I want to mount the device here. I want to go ahead and mount it. So these are the drives you have. So you have your E drive and your C drive. These are the main two drives you use. This is your system drive, which you want to put your system files in, and your E drive would be like your games. And then your F drive uh, would be the one with all the, you know, basically your ISOs, etc. So the first thing you want to do is I want to load up my C drive files. So what I did is I have the Hanzo stuff. So I'm going to mount this as an X drive. This is just saying mounting as X. I'm going to go ahead and mount this. Again, mine's exp uh, I, I, let's see if I can extend it. See, I don't uh, see. I, I don't think it's going to work because I, I. Oh wow, that's that's actually really sweet. I didn't know you could do that. I was really worried this wasn't work. So I have on my desktop. I have my Xbox folder. So I have this, basically, this is my C drive. I'm going to go ahead and actually, uh, I haven't extracted this yet. So let's just go ahead and, and uh, just extract all the files here. So this is what you want in your default C drive. So this is all your C drive files. So this is, uh, you go to double click in this. This has uh, the dashboards and the Evo X, et cetera. So this, I think, has, it's already set up for you. This is if you have, like, a bad hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this into the C drive. So we have this, we had mounted our drive the X drive, go ahead and it is file explorer. Go ahead here, refresh, my bad, I hit the wrong thing. Go to open the X file. So this is the C drive. So go ahead and paste all my C drive folders in here. This is this is if you don't have, if you have like a bad hard drive or something, this is putting all the original Xbox dash files. This will boot into your Xbox. It has all the different stuff you need. So this is the original like OS, that's been modified. But now I'm going to go ahead and actually put some E drive, which I'm going to put different dashboards. And again, you get FTP and do all this stuff later on. But for first boot, if you're setting up a hard drive, I recommend doing this. So now we want to go ahead and unmount this. So we're going to go ahead and unmount it. We need to get into the other, other drive. So that's done. So now we're going to go ahead and again, load device. And now we want to do the E drive. So we just set up the C drive with all the files. Now we want to set up the E drive. So now we're going to go ahead and mount. That's really cool. He lets you continue. I'm going to have to buy this offer. It is, it is by far one of the better ones out there. So we'll go back here. And I again, I downloaded the... I'll go ahead and link these links as well. This is the E drive backup. We'll go ahead and extract all. Extract everything for the E drive. And this has like, uh, I believe it's XMC for gamers on it. And it has like a bunch of uh, apps, etc. So this sets up the E drive for you instead of FTPing everything over. So there's your E drive backup. So you have your dash. 
uh, XVM server. These are the ones I like, so I'm going to put on there. So I'm going to go ahead and grab. I'm going to control A, control C. This is now our other drive. So I'm copying. I'm setting up the hard drive. So I'm setting up the C drive and the E drive for you to plug into your system. Don't forget, you're going to want to get an 80-pin cable to ensure that you can use your modified Xbox. And I'm using a, a port. So I have this hard drive plugged into my computer through like a SATA USB port. I'll go in and set, put a link in the Amazon description below. But this is basically a, how to set up your hard drive. So if your hard drive's bad or corrupted or you can't use your DVD drive, this will basically allow you to plug your hard drive in and it will boot up into a modified Xbox. Uh, you'll basically get into the default splash screen. And if you have like a Rocky 5 USB or you can either load the files from FTP as well. This is just kind of sets the hard drive so it boots you know, past like, you know, error seven, error 16. So that's it. This is all set up. So this is my device. This has a C drive and an E drive. It's all set up. So the other thing you want to do now is you want to go ahead and lock your EEPROM. So this is where it's going to be a little difficult. You might need to have a Pico or you might need to either hot swap. If you're going to hot swap, you can now hot swap this hard drive and grab the, the thing is. Uh, one thing to note, you can't actually mount it. You have to go ahead and, and unmount it from here, unmount here. Now you can go into the uh, hard drive tools and it will show up. So if it ever doesn't show up here, you have to unmount it. it. If it's currently mounted, it can't mount twice. I do that all the time. So if you run into that. So again, make sure you select your, I'm doing my Toshiba, my one terabyte hard drive that we just set up, a C and an E drive. And now we want to, you want to go ahead and set the EEPROM. So you're going to either grab an EEPROM. I don't actually have an EEPROM. I'm setting up a hard drive for a new Xbox I'm getting. The Xbox comes tomorrow. So I'll go ahead and grab the EEPROM, but you'll go ahead and extract the EEPROM from the Xbox. It's what's locked to the motherboard. And go ahead and once you load that EEPROM, you'll it will be like a bunch of numbers. It'll be like yada 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 yada. You don't have you don't have to type it out. I recommend loading from the folder instead of typing the whole long number out. And then you'll go ahead and set master password, set password, and then this will lock the drive to that Xbox and you'll be all set to go. So it's all you have to do if you're starting from scratch for your Xbox. Let me know if this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave anything in the comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you.